Cool. Cool, cool, cool.、Mm. All right. Are we ready? <clears throat> yeah. All right. So, last time, on the way back to Velaki, the team had some time to talk about certain things, and in the process, it was revealed that the Vistani, Gitana, was in fact Eamon's mother. After a cheerful exchange, they continued on to the town of Velaki. Heading towards the Blue Water Inn in search of a restful spot to sleep, they ran into the half elf that had pretended to be Rictavio, the circus manager. Brimstone took him aside and told him that he knew the fact that his identity was false, and Rictavio told him to come to his room and he would explain the situation. Meanwhile, young Olive had been playing with Taroka cards that she said the group had sent to her. And proceeded to tell fortunes of the, a few of the adventurers, some of which didn't sit well with the recipients. Afterwards, they settled in and had some dinner. Before the group met back up in their rooms, though, Brimstone and Riley went to go talk to Rictavio. After removing his hat, he revealed himself not to be a half elf, but instead a human by the name of Rudolf Van Richten. Brimstone recognized this as a famous monster hunter, but didn't know a whole ton other than that. Uh, uh, Van Richten, he told them that his main goal was to destroy Strahd once and for all. But that if Strahd knew that he was here, it'd be very dangerous, which is why he's in disguise. He hinted that, that he might help the group, but he wasn't willing to trust them completely just yet. Meanwhile, Zelfi and Eamon had a conversation of their own, revealing that they knew each other before. After the discussion about their past relevance, everyone started to make their way to their room. Where Aemond has now taken the book that you have taken from the Argonvals Holt and started reading it in the corner, kind of ignoring everybody. I forgot that happened last time.、That、oh my god, I still can't believe it. So much h a p p e n I can't believe it. Ugh. <laughs>、uh. Yeah, we don't, have a, we don't have a day on this week, so we're. Yeah. Yeah, we're going, Aemon's just going to be reading in the corner for today because we are down a day on. <laughs> yeah. Everybody wish Dan luck on his, on his、uh, exams and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Oh my gosh. Eamon is studying in the game, and like, Dan is like, <laughs> studying in real life. <laughs>、uh, <laughs> fantasy reality melding. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> So, what would you like to do now? Oh, yeah, Katie, you can、like. come in the roll 20、oh. now if you want. You've got internet, right? Oh my god, that's right. I totally forgot.、Uh, you guys are P. I'll set that up. Hold on. Yeah. Oh gosh.、Um... <laughs> <laughs> uh, is Gitana with us? Uh, she has, at this point, when you come back down from talking to Van Richten, she seems to be missing. Okay. As far as you can tell, she's just not at the table that, where you left her. She might have wandered off at this point. Okay. Other people in the bar might have seen where she's gone. Did we get the sense last time that there was a festival starting tomorrow? Yeah. There's lots of decorations up, and I believe someone might have mentioned it. I can't remember、oh. if who, but it has been indicated that tomorrow that there's a festival. Well, uh, Brim will turn his off and, and he'll just say, We should wait until we have, uh, uh everyone, until we're at full strength and we're all. Ready to go, but I want to get together with uh, Irina, uh, Isaac, and the other, and Lucas and Theo before、uh, tomorrow. Yeah, probably better if we all discuss before whatever festival happens tomorrow. Mm hmm. Lost track of where Brimstone is on the map. <laughs> oh gosh, where is he? He's he was, gone for、uh, upstairs, I think. 
He's upstairs. Oh, he's under the M. That's why. <laughs> you can't see the M, but there's an M on my map. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll put you both down my... here. <laughs> my internet crept out on my computer. I don't want to restart it. So That's whatever. Okay. That's fine. <laughs> we, That's we don't really need it for this. It's just nice to have the visuals. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But it's cool. Next time. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I put you two down here. And Riley should actually be with you guys because this is not long sure. after. Zelfie basically yeah. wandered in after talking to Amond, and you guys wandered down after talking to Van Richten. Mm hmm. I guess we, uh, it, like, uh, kind of, uh, tell Zelfing what Van Richten told us. Yeah, that he's we're, an we're ally. definitely, we're definitely, I think we probably want to find a, a spot away. If, if Eamon's bearing his nose oh. in a book, we definitely want to find, like, a table away from everybody else. <laughs> yeah, you, you might want to head back up to your room somewhere where there isn't people around. Because Van Richten. I was thinking <laughs> that we could do that. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So we're just around that table in our room. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, uh, Rictavio, unsurprisingly, is not Rictavio. So who exactly is he? He's... He's, a, from what I understand, he's a monster hunter with a personal vendetta against Strahd, which is good. But he's a little bit, it sounds loosey-goosey on uh, who or what he has to, uh, who he has to, whom he might have to hurt or what he might have to do in order to get what he wants, so. Lovely. Mm. Well, he but, seems yeah. like a friend for now, so that's good. He's at least not trying to kill us immediately. That's always that's nice. That's always good. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's always a good sign. <clears throat> I did uh, have one other thing to uh, mention. Uh, I talked to a couple. Um, I, well, we talked to Van Richten and a couple of the, um, a couple mercenaries downstairs. And um, you know that uh, wolf we met on the road. Hmm. Um. It sounds like there's a werewolf pack in Borovia. And they uh, are having some uh, political difficulties or something. Mm. So they, uh, some are for Strahd, some are not? Hmm. Some want to remain neutral, some are for Strahd. Apparently their leader... Uh, their former leader was against Strahd, but got locked up. Oh no. By Strahd in, in Ravenloft. Oh dear. Hmm. They're far to the northwest, so they're not um, anywhere nearby or, you know, on the way to anything. I think our next stop is probably Berez. Oh right, um, Van Richten also said that uh, oh. he last heard of uh, a Vistani girl Someone in Burez. Right, right. Which is to the southwest of here, I think? From here, southeast, I believe? Southeast. Okay, okay. Basically, you guys could have made it if you spent, like, another day, kind of, before heading mm -hmm. back to Velaki, going down south. Mm -hmm. On one of the, the roads that split off. Mm-hmm. Hmm. I guess that's as good a lead as any on our missing kid. Mm -hmm. the, like our only the, lead. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think if we can get a little a time before we go, before whatever our plan is kicks off, I want to go see the werewolf pack. Mm-hmm. Katie, the player, doesn't like that idea. <laughs> but okay. <laughs> Anything to delay running headfirst into Castle Ravenloft, I guess. 
can't agree with that. <laughs> That's fair. Do we, get, we don't really know anything about Castle Ravenloft at all, do we? I know it's a castle, probably. Well, we saw it on the way up. It's, it's like high on the mountain. Also, it's spooky. Yeah, you basically, no. you saw it, but you didn't get too close to it on your way <laughs> over this way. And everybody that you kind of talked to about it seems real, real scared of it. Mm -hmm. So Riley's assumptions are truth. Yeah. <laughs> Based on fact. Based on. I mean, it's probably. <laughs> it's probably a waste of time to try and find a you know an architect's map of the place. Yeah, we'll probably not find that. I don't think Strahd mm -hmm. has that lying around somewhere. No. And to be perfectly <laughs> honest, from what I know about Strahd, he probably killed the people who did it. Uh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> oh, boy. If they're not dead already, I don't know. I don't know, know how long this place has, you know, been like this. Oh, yeah, you guys have no yeah. idea. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was about to tell you, and I'm like, wait, they wouldn't know that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just know, because yeah, I've got the know. book. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Everybody go read Istrad. It's really good. It's, it's what Amy's reading right now. He's reading it right now. Doing the voices <laughs> in the corner. He's doing his own voices. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, good. <laughs> and he gave Strahd a real shitty one that isn't sound oh, like him yeah. at all. <laughs> it really is sarcastic, like sort of, bleh, vampire voice. Yeah, that's what he's doing. Perfect. That's perfect. That's 100% what he's doing. And awesome. Selfie just glances over to him in the corner. Maybe he'll yeah. find something useful in that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh boy. Uh. Whew. But yeah, I. I know you didn't. He turns. Brimstone turns himself in. I know you didn't like what you heard from Olive, but. I know if. I can only think of like if if we're talking a pack. That's probably it, right? I would assume so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's it's not like a pack of cards or anything. It's got to be wolves. It's got to be wolves. All right, fine. It's well, I'm, let me uh, just because uh, Burns remembers what it said. It said it was uh, well, the pack. The exact quote the DM was, <laughs> A pack knows you're seeking power and will give it to you, but if you're not careful, it will swallow your life up whole. Yep, that's the exact that's quote right. that Olive told you. <laughs> mm -hmm. I hate. <laughs> she just probably it not the voice, so it was definitely fine. <laughs> probably not the pack of cards, Riley. <laughs> probably the wolf pack. Could be, you don't know. Prophecies are are kind of ominous and, and mysterious, all right? Selfie just raises an eyebrow. <laughs> huh. It's not because wolves are scary, no. Not at all. She frowns. Wait, you met oh. one kind of okay wolf man. You stop that. Well, so <laughs> I I don't want to fight Strahd. I, I'm, Neither do I. <laughs> I mean, no. I mean, I, I'm I'm down for fighting Strahd. I just don't want to lose control while we fight him. Yeah, that'd be bad. Mm-hmm. Mm. Fighting well Strahd is not the time to get bloodthirsty. Mm-hmm. I think we gotta do that. Mm -hmm. We gotta know. We have to know when to cut and run. With that. Mm -hmm. It'll probably take a lot of time, and I know it's really out of the way. But if we could at least go look and see, you know. Besides, having a bunch of werewolves on our side might be good against, you know. The vampire. I mean, you saw Lucas in Argenvash told, uh, 
like That's handshake true. meant that he, you know, he brushed off many of the blows he took. Hmm. But that's only if they want to fight with us. That's a big if. Mm hmm. Um, I think we got, to, I think we're at the place where we got to follow every lead, every lead we can. And at least thus far, it doesn't sound like they want to fight against us, which is uh, better than we've had it for most mm -hmm. of this time here. Mm -hmm. That's true. There's that. It's a it's a fruitful idea. It just it could go really bad, really fast. That's just what I'm worried about. Well, welcome to Barovia. <laughs> <laughs> most of our time, most of our time here has been sort of traveling that razor's edge of whoops. Now suddenly everything is bad, you know. Yeah, she get used to it by now, but it's hard to. I mean, I certainly don't want to normalize that feeling. Let's let's not do that. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oof. Let's just try and do this cautiously, okay? Mm-hmm. Hmm. I'm assuming neither of you want to talk about uh, what Olive told you was in the cards for you. Well, I don't really know what mine means. Something about a flower? Yeah, something about a flower, and then blood spilt that's not my own? Is that what it was? Uh, I'll try to look back on my notes real quick. <laughs> yeah. I don't yeah. have it loaded up. Right this I got it. The flower, the flower lies and has always lied. It seeks to enslave you. Its petals are the ones covered in blood, not yours. Yeah, yeah. That's and it. just because it might come up, the Zel uh, Zelfine's was the serpent who shared your face has information about a fox you've been looking for. He'll give it <laughs> if you stop and listen. Yeah, Riley yeah, bristles at remembering the slave part. Just goes, yeah, I don't know what it means. You don't you don't know who the flower might be? Mm. She kinda glares. <laughs> <laughs> glares up at the sky at Leanne. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Um Only Bards can break the fourth wall and only Vistani Bards. <laughs> <laughs> Sorcerers are not allowed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um uh, mm, I guess at that she'll be like you know what let me let me think about it and they're in the room right like we're in yeah. the bedroom okay then she'll get up and go downstairs so yeah as you bar. open the door you see Olive sitting on like the little walkway overlooking the tap room and she's got like her feet hanging off the edge of the balcony and her little hands holding onto the the railings. Aww. And she looks up. Cute. Oh, hello. Hi, Olive. What you doing? Uh, just trying to clear my head. Okay, uh, okay, okay. <laughs> Ooh, okay. She wants to, uh, She'll go up to her and like pat her on the head and say, uh, "Say, uh, thanks for your help with uh, y you've mm, okay. This is a weird thing to explain, but <laughs> oh, you, you mean when the bad man came? The bad man came mean... in our dreams. In our dreams? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. I know about this. Duh." <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kind of whoosh uh, and she's like yeah yeah I just wanted to thank you for your help no problem and a lot hmm. I don't like it when he comes to any of my dreams so you know I, I, I want to help other people so they don't have to deal with it too yeah he's a bad man I don't like him either no Dreams with mm -hmm. him are always scary. He 
comes a couple times. <laughs> Strad, you bitch! I'm a fight. <laughs> <laughs> Um. Hmm. Uh, okay, Riley's gonna say, "Don't, don't worry anymore. We're gonna take care of him, okay?" You will. We'll make sure they. Yeah, we'll make sure he doesn't come back. You really are heroes. Hey, I wouldn't say that, but we're trying. Oh, uh, that's more than most people do around here. So. Yeah. Oh, sick burn, Olive! Sick burn! <laughs> <laughs> but most of these clowns around here, gee. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I mean, it's true. Most people in Barovia are lazy bums. <laughs> except <laughs> 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 Oh, shit. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> true. She'll just nod. And uh, just give her a hug. Yeah, she'll like get up on to her feet and like go into a hug with you. <laughs> we'll we'll definitely try. And and we'll win. We'll yeah. win. I, I can feel you. it. And we'll... <laughs> yes, you're all very strong. So yeah. I believe you. A lot of us are, yeah. You most of all. You've got so much inside you, just ready to burst out. I can feel it. Uh. Uh. <laughs> I, I, I wish I felt the same. <laughs> One day you will, I think. Hmm. I hope so. <laughs> oh, I love Olive. She smiles at you. Riley smiles back. Oh. oh. I should probably go to bed soon, but... You'll have fun clearing your head, I guess. Yeah. You've certainly helped. Mm-hmm. I try. <laughs> I want to help as many people as I can. And you're doing great. Just now have some good like, dreams. Really would. <laughs> I I'll try. <laughs> okay, uh, Riley's just gonna sit in the corner and think. Think about her, the uh, reading that Olive yeah. did. Do you wander outside or do you stay in this hallway? Oh. You know what? Yeah, let's wander outside a little bit. Okay. Just like, um, yeah. There's just like, like around the property still. Mm hmm. Because there is the, uh, the, the, the storage shed and then around the back there's the, uh, the stables. Mm -hmm. And there's like a little wishing well kind of off to the side here. Well, <gasps> not a wishing well, a it's regular a well. well. But you could wish oh. on it, I guess. <laughs> Hell yeah! I bet if she sees the well, she's like, oh, fuck yeah, wishing well. <laughs> <laughs> She'll go to there. Cool. <laughs> I'm gonna stick you right there. Outside the well. <laughs> Uh, Zelfine, after asking Riley about her fortune and watching her just kind of like wander off and leave, she's gonna sit there for a minute and just be like, Well, I'm gonna go make more tea, I think. Want me to come with? That's up to you. Hmm. Brimstone looks from like Zelfine to over the corner where Eamon. I assume Eamon's still in the inner room, right? Or is he downstairs? Yeah, he's still in your room. And I yeah, think... he just sees Eamon in the room, just like getting really into it, <laughs> reading aloud. And... <laughs> and he goes with um, uh, he goes with Elfing to make cool. Fortune. So yeah, you you'll wander back downstairs, and you'll see that the uh, the tap room is 
mm, not as full as it once was. Looks like people are starting to head out for the evening, but there's a couple people hanging around. Mm -hmm. As we go down the stairs, uh, Brimstone, uh, uh, he kind of pauses for a second and he goes to Zelfine and he says, do you think we should check on Lucas and Theo now, or should we leave them be? I got the sense they, uh, needed to talk some things out. Uh, we should definitely check in on them before the night's up, but probably best to give them a little time, especially <laughs> considering what we know from Lucas when he left. Uh, mm -hmm. It's probably been a couple hours since you got here, so it's been a, at least since then. So if you want to still go and get some tea, that that's that's perfectly viable. Just don't Do let I make you know. them some tea. <laughs> want to make them some tea as well? Couldn't hurt. Mm -hmm. Let's find something, and I don't know. <laughs> Pardon me, I uh, never really, I haven't made much tea, but something simple, easy to drink, you know? Mint's usually a good choice. Mm. We have spearmint. I'm partial to spearmint. I am out. I have only peppermint, but she will, uh, she's gonna snoop through, uh, the stuff in the kitchen. Yeah. As you walk in, you know, Erwin's there, and he, he can point you to where he keeps his, uh, tea leaves in the cupboard. He's got a little bit of spearmint. He doesn't have a lot of, a t of everything, but he's got a little bit of everything. Make a suicide tea. Just put all the leaves in there. <laughs> <laughs> this will be a good idea. I mean, that's no, basically no what she does when she runs low. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's called fuck it tea. tea. Yeah, yep. it's the fuck it tea. Fuck yep. Tea. Special blend. I love it. <laughs> And uh, Brimstone will assist in what ways he can in finding things that smell good together. Put them in a pot, just kind of watching it boil, letting it mm -hmm. stew for a bit. <sighs> yeah, that, that, that brews up pretty nicely. S smells real good. You didn't like the sound of my fortune, I bet. The last part is troubling, to say the least. Mm. Maybe. It's a big mystery either way. I don't know what they would even want from me. I've never heard of any... I mean, I've heard of, you know, werewolves like in the before, but never ever heard of anything to do with, you know, swallowing up a, cre a person's life. Well, it certainly doesn't sound good. Probably not. It said if you're not careful, though, right? Mm -hmm. So I suppose we just be careful. Ever since y'all showed up, I've not been allowed to be reckless, really. Darn <laughs> too. <laughs> you say as you've jumped out Kinda every smart. window. <laughs> oh yeah. No, I know. I know what I just she, said. She narrows her eyes at him. <laughs> Haven't I gotten a stern talking to every time I've done anything remotely like that? No, I hate it when I act like that. <laughs> For good reason. Hmm. Name me. It's like me being cautious never got me anything, really. Hmm. 
being reckless has nearly killed you. Nearly. <laughs> Riley suddenly frowns and she doesn't know why. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing it for- I don't do those things for no good reason, but... Uh, that's... I think that in some way that's where my strength lies, really, is... is having the, the strength to be able to make those kinds of decisions and have them pay off. Or at least to be able to soak the blow when, you know, it goes wrong. <laughs> like I said to Riley earlier, we're uh, working from behind. We're fighting, uh, you know, we're fighting shadows and, and the rumors at the moment. If we don't take the chance, you know, if we don't take one or two chances. Smart chances, but if we don't take one or two chances... We're going to do a lot worse for ourselves, I think. Fair. As long as they are smart chances. Hmm. What about you? Your fortune. What about it? You're looking for a fox? You could say that. Yeah. <sighs> Is it somebody you've told me about? Might have mentioned it. Hmm. In not so many words. Do you happen to know where Theo and Lucas went? I'm probably in the stable, at least if I had to guess. Wouldn't do to let their tea get cold. Hmm. Uh, yeah, y you can take the, uh, <laughs> the back exit there. Irwin kind of points to a door in the back of the kitchen. That does the fastest way to get to the stables. Mm hmm. I walk out the back exit, and it hasn't been long. Uh, is the uh, because I buried a body back here, mm -hmm. as I recall. You did like it's around here ish, give or take. Mm. Mm. Just realizing the Markovs might not have appreciated that, but whatever. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Burying a, a body on their property. Yeah. yeah. I kind of Primson kind of lingers looking in that direction, but he follows Selfie into the stable. So, yeah, Wait, no, you didn't bury a body, you buried their flask. It's fine. Yes, oh, I yeah, did. You, I you I didn't bury the their whole body. It's you didn't like, bury a body. I think they would, yeah, they would have mentioned something if they had been like, hey, there's a body. Yeah, they'd mound. be like, uh, what's this yeah. suspicious mouth? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God, well, it's a body. Brim, Brim's, gonna, Brim's eyes are still going to linger on the, on the place where he buried the flask. Yeah, it, it still looks pretty freshly dug up, even though it's been like a week. But it's still mm -hmm. the only disturbed ground in that area. Mm -hmm. And yeah, as you wander yeah. into the uh, the stables, you see uh, four pens. One has a uh, Gitana's horse. One has a horse you haven't seen before. And one has Maggie in it, who <laughs> is kind of <laughs> creepily staring at the other two horses. And Gitana's horse is kind of like, whatever about it. But the other horse is kind of like backing away from uh, Maggie and just is like, I don't know what to do with this. <laughs> Zephine's going to pat Maggie on the nose, just completely unfazed. Yep. Mm. Brim's going to stay away from all the horses. <laughs> uh, so Brim's going to, he's probably tall enough. Is he going to, can I look up onto the loft and see if Theo and Lucas are there? Yeah, you, you see them kind of like curled up in uh, in like a pile of hay up in the loft, 
They look. Brim's gonna sort of try and knock on the rung of the ladder to announce their presence. Yeah. At that point, you see Theo's head kind of poke up over the side. Oh, um, hey. We brought tea. It's, um, I don't know. Zelfie, Zelfie, what? I don't know what all tea is. <laughs> what, what, what is it? What would you, what would you call it? Spearmint plus whatever else Brimstone handed me. Tea. <laughs> <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> experiment whatever experiment whatever tea well that's certainly something uh sh- sure bring it bring it up i guess uh you, you need mother it. sure are words you said about those sure are correct words you said <laughs> <laughs> sure. let's, 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 everybody in this situation is completely nonplussed and has no idea how to talk about tea except selfie <laughs> It's, it's not exactly something I drink a ton, but, uh, sure. <laughs> we, um, everybody's kind of taking a breath, but later this evening we wanted to go and, um, meet up with Ismark and Irina. Hmm. Discuss, uh, things that have been happening here in Balaki, uh, our success, those sorts of things. Alright, well, you discuss some of it at least now uh br- bring that up come up in the, lo- the loft all right yeah like you can like stick your hand down and <laughs> or up <laughs> mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. He- they can like pull the tea up and you notice like lucas is kind of just actually asleep in the corner and theo's the only one that's awake right now <laughs> little guys tuckered out he had a rough from his big adventure <laughs> He did. He did so good. He like stick Theo sticks the tea cup in the one next to Lucas and goes if if, if he still wants it when he wakes up, it'll be it'll be alright. Um he starts sipping see This is uh leafy. Thanks. What's is this that... leaf juice? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's tea, it's leaves, right? That's, that's how tea works. It, yeah, I... Zelfane raises an eyebrow and says nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I only really had it when uh, my druid friend would make it for the people at our castle. <clears throat> Lots of uh, rebellion meetings over uh, his tea. I didn't his always tasted a bit more like berries. I think he just stuck a bunch of good berries in water, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess that's one way to do it. I, uh... When I was <laughs> much younger, I... You know what? That's probably why I, uh... If I'd come home and be unsuccessful and, um scraped and banged up, I'd usually someone would make a, like a soup. Like a, just a sort of a simple soup with some, just some meats and some herbs. That's probably why it tastes so much like leaves and stuff, but I don't have much experience with uh, <laughs> many cooked foods. <laughs> Mostly trail rations. Honestly, uh, me neither. Like, most of what I ate growing up was stuff I found at on the street. You can say you can say stole. It's okay. okay. I stole it. <laughs> yeah. No. <I'm... laughs> I uh. <laughs> Boy, not even a year ago. I was. Uh... No, it would have been more than a year ago at this point. I was uh. I liberated certain things from people who I thought deserved it less than me as well. <laughs> I didn't think people Except deserved I... things less than me. <laughs> I just needed what I needed, so I took it. Oh, I was stupid and tried to justify it. That, that's where, you know, people can dance around circles around that stuff all you want, but... 
I took things because I needed to survive. That's all I did. And then I took Once things I... because it was the only thing I was good at. Hmm. No other reason but that, really. I'm trying to get better. And uh, I haven't taken things that don't belong to me for a very long time. But... No. We kind of did that today. <laughs> uh, I, uh... I didn't hear the whole story, uh... Lucas and I, we, we didn't really discuss much these last two hours. It's fair. You can imagine, I'm sure. But... <clears throat> what... <clears throat> what did you guys do at that place? I, di I didn't even know Lucas was gone, honestly. In until today. We stole a book. And then ran like hell. Well, you got you gotta watch stealing books. Last time I did that I was turned into a statue for five years, so Really? Yeah, it's not a good time. Wouldn't recommend wow. pissing off a wizard. <clears throat> well, we pissed off our revenant, so... That's even worse. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> that thing's gonna probably hunt you forever. God. Probably. We fucked up, boys. <sighs> well, that's certainly... Well, there's that, there is that skull thing in the Ravenloft, right? The, that's, it, the bones of Ar Argenvast, right? Because we say. found that something... <laughs> Yeah, no, the spirit of it uh, said that if we put the bones back, it would, uh, I don't know, what was it, bring peace, cleanse it, some something of that nature, something ostensibly good. Well, yeah, something good will happen if we find its bones. That might be something In you look Castle into then. Castle Ravenloft. I would avoid there if all possible, but sounding like that's where you guys gotta go eventually. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't know how good I'd be helpful-wise, but I'll be there if you need me, I guess. Just, if I collapse in a puddle of my own blood, please have someone pick me up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no. I got you, don't worry. Let's just uh, you're, hold you're on to that thought before we get a little more ready. Mm. Yeah. Your boyfriend, uh... Uh, he, uh... <laughs> I can't believe I didn't mention. Uh, when we uh, cut and run with the book, uh, just by the way of things, Lucas and I got kind of caught behind everyone. And, um... I mean, I went down in one swing. Uh, and Lucas healed me. Uh, it was... It was weird. It was a different kind of having to travel with these people for a while, I'm used to my bones getting knit back together, you know, by one thing or another, but it was different. It was, it came from a different place than, you know, holy power or uh, other things. It was more inspiring, hmm. kinder, I think, that's harsh. Theo's hand, like, goes to Lucas's hair and starts, like, playing with it as you're talking. And he kind of, like, Aww. looks at you with a little tiny smile on his face, like, You don't know any many bards, do you? Uh, no. I, well, I mean, we, I've known people who, who sang and told stories, but that was a long time ago. No, no, bards are... Bards, a real bard, is different. They can inspire people to do amazing things. Just from their words. They can heal. They can bring down the thunder from the sky. I've seen them do some crazy shit, man. Hmm. I knew this one fellow. He had a little xylophone. He could, like, charm animals with it. Wow. 
<laughs> no, it didn't stop him from getting his f fingers cut off by a uh, owl bear. He didn't realize that owl bears aren't really animals. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, don't get your fingers too close to those beaks. Mm. Don't make good pets. No. Sounds like. No, they. T I mean. Delphine sips her tea and says nothing. <gasps> if you get them on your side, they're very loyal. And they'll eat everybody that you don't like. But if it belongs to some wizard in a tower, maybe don't touch it. <laughs> Or you'll end out hanging out a window like I did. I've never really had pets. Most animals don't like me, I found. I mean, I had a mouse once. For a little bit. A mouse? It just followed me around because I would, like, drop crumbs for it. They don't last very long, though, so... Mm hmm. Mm. How about you, Zelfie? Never had any pets ever? Can't say that I have. Hmm. I was in charge of a few owlbears here and there. Hmm. Hey, can you roll hmm. me some deception on that? I'll roll, it's I'll fine. roll it inside. <laughs> Eyes emoji. Five. Great. <coughs> yeah, Theo Twelve. kind of raises a brow as you say that you've never had any pets. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you seem like the type that wouldn't have any pets at all. <sighs> She just kind of narrows her eyes at him. Not what I would call pets, anyway. Whether or not you call it a pet, you've taken care of animals. I see it on your face. You're the kind that looks at something that most people would dismiss on the road and take it home with you. You're a monster horse girl. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I did grow up with druids, after all. That makes sense. It's kind of <laughs> their thing. Kind of is. God. The, the mushroom things that our druid would bring home. Ah. Don't like him. But he loves them, so I just I let him be. <laughs> they have little feet. They walk. Ugh. Have you ever seen a walking mushroom? I cannot say I have. Mm, don't like it. Don't like it. A few. They're not <laughs> that bad. I mean, when they... <laughs> Unless you consider that this guy would bring them out of dead bodies. Ugh. It's a fungus. Yeah, yeah, that's what I figured. Oh, gosh. She just sips her tea, unfazed. Theo shakes his head. Druids all the same. <gasps> God, I love her, though. <laughs> <sighs> so. I think once we get out to here, I'd like to see the world. Yeah? Are you thinking of starting? Yeah. Ah, uh, kind of looks and um. Actually, quick question. Um, for reference, is Zelfine? Zelfine has the key that Brim gave him. Yeah. Yeah. Mhm. Mm uh, mm -hmm. is she like still? Is she currently like wearing it, like around her neck still, where it can be seen? Uh, you got that hidden. Not where it can be seen. It's tucked in her tunic right now. Okay. Kind of linger itself in for a sec. His eyes will linger itself in for a second. And say, I think, I think I'd like to see the ocean. Hmm. The ocean 
ocean's nice. Zelfine shudders. I mean, I wouldn't want to go on the ocean ever again, but, you know, the ocean's kind of nice. From a just distance. To, just to see it. I just... <laughs> Especially talking with, with Theo and everyone, there's clearly a lot that I haven't seen. I'll tell you, the, the ocean's full of a lot of dangerous things, and after being on it for more than a few days, you go a little stir-crazy looking at nothing but the f ocean. In my experience, everywhere is full of dangerous things. I've been very few places that aren't full of dangerous shit that wants to kill you. Yeah, but usually I can see them coming elsewhere. <sighs> That's fair. Yeah, you know, it's a little surprising when a dragon turtle pops out of the water and tries to eat you. A what? Zelfine shudders again. Oh, you've never heard of dragon turtles, huh? <laughs> oh, I've I've heard plenty from the dock ward. No thanks. <laughs> we met a fellow named Tyranax once. He demands like a tribute. Of course, we had nothing. We were a bunch of uh, escaped prisoners, and it was not a good time. I will tell you that. <laughs> I haven't been on the water since then. <laughs> hmm. I might, uh, go find Riley. Yeah. Check mm. up on her, make sure she's not anywhere dangerous. Uh, if, if you need me, I'll be here. Oh no, don't stop conversation on my account. Sorry, I'm just gonna go. I'll be back. Alright. And off you go down the... the ladder. Mm -hmm. Out you go. Wait. No. And you'll find Riley over by... I'm actually gonna stop okay. at the mound go for it. that I dug. Sorry, I'm moving you without oh. your permission. Go for it. No, you're good. Uh, yeah, somebody <laughs> else can do something while I'm just, I'm just, he's just gonna stare at that for a while. Cool. Zelfine's just gonna kind of raise her eyebrow at them while collecting all the teacups and stuff and say, Well, I'm glad you two made peace. I mean, I, I still don't think we've actually come to an agreement on our argument, but... At least, you know, we're here now. Eh. Sometimes it's not coming to an agreement, just realizing that there's something beyond it. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just... <sighs> Relationships are difficult. Hmm. <sighs> I haven't been Wouldn't able to know. get it right since I was a kid. And... and you got a lot of good advice for someone who hasn't, though. <laughs> <coughs> She's just gonna shrug and kind of look between the two of them and go, Yeah, yeah, it doesn't, doesn't look like you know what you're doing at all. I mean... It's nice to have someone want you. That's... I'm always quick to jump on that. But this time, it, it seems to work a little bit better than the others. I don't know. Something clicked. I never want to say it, but... He reminds me of someone I used to know a long time ago. Maybe that's got something to do with it. can't relate. And she's gonna go back down the ladder. Theo actually kind of <laughs> chuckles at that and goes, right. Sure. So still like, right. <laughs> if that's what you say. <laughs> God. Uh, is Riley just the well? Yeah, she's just uh, at the well. Yes. She's sitting. 
And she's thinking about the uh, fortune. And so you could either come this way or this way. Yeah, I think Branson's gonna leave the mound and go and walk around the house. And then if he finds Rally, he's just gonna walk up next to her. <laughs> she's like lost in thought. She's like looking at her feet. I, be- I bet she's like sitting on the mm-hmm. side of the wall and just like, yeah, just like looking down, looking at her feet, like. Mm-hmm. Hmm. <laughs> this is stupid. This, she's sitting on the well, looking down at her feet. Yeah. Ren's just gonna walk up and sit next to her. Woo! Oh, hey. Hey. Okay. Uh... <laughs> I hate this place so much. <laughs> <laughs> you got something on your mind I have a lot of things on my mind and it's like it's like too much man <laughs> <laughs> it's like we do one good thing and then ten bad things happen <laughs> that seems that way mm-hmm. do you want to know a secret? Sure. Hopefully this is the one good thing. Mm-hmm. This place is kind of the best thing that's ever happened to me. <laughs> really? <laughs> really fucked up, isn't it? I know. Oh, man. That is... Yeah. I mean, obvi- not like the vampires and the- all that bullshit. Everything else. It's like, like a in a fucked up sort of way, it's kinda of like a fresh start. Hmm. Well yeah, when you put it that show. way. Yeah, when you put it that way it make that makes sense. <laughs> I mean it really doesn't, but yeah. No, I I can relate in a way. Definitely with the fresh start sort of angle. But this isn't really the fresh start I was looking for, but whatever. <laughs> no. uh, we don't really get to pick and choose, you know, those sorts of things, though. We sure don't. But I've got an objective. I've got people who care about me. Yeah. I'm a lot better than I was a couple years ago. I can relate to that. Um, I'm not alone anymore, so there's that. No. I'm glad you're looking at the positive of all this. <laughs> it's all shrouded in the, you know, perpetual Barovian, this is still really fucked up blanket, you know? Yeah. But there's 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 little nuggets that are good, mm-hmm. like you guys and and Olive and and Theo and Lucas and everybody, the Martikovs, mm-hmm. Irina. There there's like little small positive nuggets in this big big soup of bad bad news. You know, it's a shame we can't see the stars, because I compare it kind of to the night sky. Yeah. There's a lot of, not even badness, just, there's a lot of nothing here. There's a lot of, of places where there's things that are lacking in Brovia. Yeah. And then there's a couple pinpricks of not necessarily goodness, but of pinpricks of something, of substance. Of hope, maybe. Maybe hope. But 
I guess even if we can't see, you know, we can't see the this guy is still there. At least I think it's still there. Uh, I'd like to think it's still there. Mm-hmm. It's just this mist mm-hmm. just clouds over it. I'd like to hope it's still there. Mm-hmm. If I lost my life to the pack, what would you do? <laughs> Mamma mia. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Mamma mia. Oh no. Mamma mia, papa mia. <laughs> I, I would cry, I would scream. I would... I don't know. What do you think the others would do? I think... They would try everything in their power to bring you back. Eamon would definitely fight for vengeance for sure. Zeldi will come up with a plan to bring you back and... I'll I'll just I'll cry. I'm very good at that. But I got a lot of things, not just crying. <laughs> I'm also good at sewing. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. My other good thing that I know what to do. <laughs> I mean also magic. You're pretty good at magic. Press X to doubt. My guy. <laughs> no, um. But I can always be better. You made me 14 feet tall, Riley. <laughs> that was very cool. I threw I threw a zombie out a window because of what you did. That was very, very cool. <sighs> but there are still hiccups. And I don't want to. Can I ask you something? Uh, yeah. If what I asked, or if what I mentioned earlier happens, and things go poorly with the pack, with all that, if we go that way, they're gonna try and bring me back, and they're gonna fight, but it's gonna be nobody's fault but mine. So... And I don't know when we're going to do this, when we're going to get to that point where we might be an option, but if... If I go because of it, can you ask them to let me rest? Oh, man. (laughs) I don't know if I'll be able to convince them. I don't know if I... You've become a good friend to me. I don't want to see you go. I've lost too many friends already. So please don't talk about dying. Okay. It was... <laughs> it's, it's not the thing to think about right now, I guess. But What we can do is just prevent it. How about that? How about... How about we make it so that doesn't happen? I mean, we can be as careful as we can, but... Uh, if the opportunity arises for them to give me what I need, I'm going to take it. And... If it turns out then all that means is I rest, then that's it. Better to die here than out there, where I don't know what'll happen. Is that why... Brim... Never mind. And she's just like, 
she looks at the ground again and she's like, she's fucking crying, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. No, I just. I, I don't want to lose you guys. Like I said, you guys are the best thing that ever happened to me. I, a, I, I, would... I feel the same way. But there's too many... There's too much I'm worried about happening if I... If I'm not strong enough to... Handle whatever it is they throw at me, then... There's a lot of other things I won't be strong enough for. Yeah! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> you, is everything okay? <laughs> I think some dishes fell over upstairs. Oh no! That's what Oops. it sounded like. Oopsie poopsie. I will check that later. <laughs> that is that is for future Leanne to worry about. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, no, uh, Riley is going to respond to that and say, "Just." <sighs> You're not alone on this one. Just keep remembering that. It's not just you that's being... That's fighting against this thing. It's all of us. Mm -hmm. So we're... We have to carry each other. So it's not just Brim is the meat shield and everyone runs away. It's... We have to fight together. Okay. Do you want to tell me about the flower? I only know of one flower. And it doesn't make sense. Because she would never do that. <laughs> well, people aren't always what they seem. She's different. She... She was... I loved her. Past tense? You don't still? Sorry, what was that? You said you don't still? Well, I don't know if... I don't know if she's alive. I don't know if I could trust Madame Eva's reading. I don't know... Technically, I didn't see her die, but I don't know if she lived. Mm. I feel like I still love her. But it's probably better to just forget those feelings. I'm wondering if that's true now. If you could... If someone offered you the ability to forget, would you? What do you think? Mm. Uh, I don't know what kind of person I would be if I forgot. Mm. And that kind of scares me. No, I wouldn't want to forget. I still have some happy moments with them. Hmm. You're a stronger person than me, huh? You have things you want to forget? It doesn't matter whether I want to or not. Riley, you are a powerful magician. 
and stronger than you believe yourself to be. Everyone says that. I wish I could believe them. Well, you don't have to, but it's true whether you like it or not. <laughs> glad to have you by my side. I'm glad to have you too. I'm going to go. That's okay. Okay. Don't stay too long. Mm -hmm. I gotta go talk to people. And Brim will get up and... Oh, I don't know. Go back. Yeah, he's gonna go back to the mound and just stare at it for a while. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Riley will sit there and think about more things. <laughs> yeah, as you sit there, uh, a raven kind of lands on the well next to you. and kind of sits there. Looking at you. Hey, bud. Takes a sip from the hey. water and just kind of sits. Friend or foe? <laughs> mm. yeah. Nice. Can I give it a scritch? You can give it a scritch. Heck they yeah. They seem to like it. Aw, awesome. They gently nip at your fingers as you do. <laughs> Sweet. Brim's over looking at the mound. Uh, what's Zelfine up to? She was taking the cups back to the kitchen? Yeah. Yeah, and uh, as you go in, you'll see, like, Olive kind of trying to pull something out of the cupboard. Uh, she'll walk over and try to help. Oh, uh, I'm, I'm just a little hungry. Uh... Can, can you get one of those crackers on the table? <coughs> yeah, no problem. Thank and she'll you. get them for her. She'll kind of nibble on those as she, as you hand it to her. Uh, do you have trouble sleeping too? No, uh, most nights. Hmm. I have lots of dreams, and some of them are scary, so it's hard to sleep sometimes. I know the feeling. Yeah. Those visions of yours can't help. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they're good dreams, though. So once I was sitting in a field, and a man came to me. He had long hair, and he smiled at me, and he would talk to me, and I told him all about my brother, and then he started crying, and he gave me a big hug, and then I woke up. Hmm. Well, that does sound nice. Yeah, I wanted more hugs like that. I don't know who he was, but he was awfully nice. Well, as long as it wasn't Strahd, I imagine you're fine. How yeah. often do you see him in your dreams? Not all the time. Sometimes he doesn't even know I'm there, but... It happens sometimes. Sometimes I see him fighting a scary man with a skull face. Hmm. I don't I don't know what those dreams are about. They're so angry at each other and they're just fighting. It's probably just a dream. I wouldn't worry too much about it. Okay. I don't even know if he knows I'm there most of the time, but I don't like him. 
Mm, probably best to keep it that way. Mm -hmm. If you see him in your dreams again, I would go out of my way to avoid him, if possible. Yeah, that's probably a, a, a good idea. I don't, I don't like to be around him very long. It's just a dream, but can't hurt to be too careful. Mm -hmm. Dreams so are... you've been playing with those... Yeah, yeah. You've been playing with those Taroka cards, huh? Yeah. Um, they, they came in the package you guys sent. Mm-hmm. It was this and a, a necklace. My brother took the necklace. He looked real sad looking at it. I don't know why. Yeah, me either. Do, do you know what your mommy and daddy were like? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Zelfine goes rigid for a moment and says, I knew my mother, not my father, though. Oh. I don't, I never knew my mom or dad. They, they were gone before I could remember. I've always had my brother, but I always wanted to know what it was like to have a real mom or dad. The Mardukovs are nice, and they, they look after us, but it's, it's not the same, I don't think. Zelfine takes a moment kind of looking around and kind of that why did it have to be me kind of moment. <laughs> yeah, this is like the worst combo. <laughs> of, of all the people to talk to, it's me. Yep. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> but she'll... Good, good she'll job, look. <laughs> she'll look at all of it and say, Well, I'm sure they were great. But sometimes parents aren't all they're cracked up to be. And I... It is sad, for sure. But you should be very glad that you've got someone like your brother. Yeah. Yeah. Lucas has always looked after me. It makes him sad, though, and I feel bad. He's all, he, he doesn't look it, but he's sad a lot. Sadness is a part of life sometimes. Not the only part, so I'm told. <laughs> but it's a reality. But sadness just makes the happiness, when it does come, even better. Yeah. Man, you're really selling it, Zelfine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was your pitch. It. One day, I'll get to see the sun, right? And then I'll be real happy, and Lucas will be real happy, and it will be all worth it. That's the plan. What? What's the sun like? Uh, it's bright, and it's warm, and it is nice to see the rest of the sky by it. There's, there's more to the sky? Oh, precious child. 
It's definitely a lot bigger than what you get to see. That sounds amazing. It's always always fog here. There's nothing but the mist. It's usually a lot bluer than this on a good day. The sky's blue? <laughs> My heart. Yep. Pretty. I suppose it is. Shouldn't, uh, shouldn't you be in bed by now? Yeah, yeah. I sh I should go to bed. I, like I said, I was just tired, but I couldn't sleep, so I got some crackers. I'll go to bed now. Um. Try to sleep well, Miss Delphine. Oh, I will. <laughs> maybe, maybe Theo will go tell me a story tonight. He, he didn't last night because he was very sad. Oh, I don't see that changing. Well, usually he tells me a story. Do you know any good stories? Uh... <laughs> She's kind of looking around again, trying to think through her way out of it. Realizing, though, that, <laughs> that they've all got to talk later, and that it'll probably be a while and she'll be asleep. She's just going to kind of sigh and say, I might know one. Kind of scary, though. That's okay. Oh my god. Theo tells me lots of scary stories. That probably doesn't help the nightmares, but if you're up for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah! <laughs> Alright, and she'll follow her up to wherever it is she sleeps. Cool. So she, like, takes your hand and leads you up the stairs into... Uh, the, what looks like a children's bedroom, but it looks kind of. Sorry, what? Would I hear them like talking in the room? Because I'm just outside the kitchen, yeah. Uh, if you're just outside the kitchen, then yeah. Okay. In fact, they'd probably pass you as they head out the door and head up the stairs. Okay. But you, you go into this children's bedroom, and it looks kind of not used, really. There's, like, toys in a chest, but they don't look well played with. And she, like, pulls something on the wall, and down comes a ladder, and she kind of guides <gasps> you up the ladder into this secret area up on the top here. With a bunch Fun. of hay kind of all piled up around the ground. You see two of uh, uh, small were-ravens curled up in a corner, already snoozing. And she goes and sits in one of the hay, uh, clumps, and goes, Now I'm ready! <laughs> Delphine looks kind of confused at first, like she had started walking towards one of the beds and then saw her pull down the ladder and sees the pile of hay and she's like, Oh, uh, alright. Um... Gonna kind of look around again for a minute, kind of fidget with her hands, and then uh, she'll start. Uh, once there was a forest very far from here, where lived a deer and a bird. Uh, they were always together, the deer and the bird, wherever the wind and the leaves took them. Uh, one day they found a small wolf lost and alone beneath a tree. And the wolves are very frightful. They took her in, for they were very kind. Uh, so the wolf lived with the other animals of the forest, and soon the inseparable two became three. Uh, 
Among them also was a fox. Old and gray and sly. He'd been found much as the wolf had, and he knew what it was like to feel like one doesn't belong at times. Uh, the wolf learned many lessons from the denizens of that forest. The bird taught her to laugh, and the deer taught her to cry. Uh, but the fox, who touted his wisdom, taught her to trust him above all. We are not so different, you and I, said the fox to the wolf. We are sharp of tooth and nail and mind. Uh, the, element, the animals will celebrate soon, for winter is almost here and another year is past. They will reap what they have sown, but alas, what have we who do not sow to give? Fret not, my little wolf, for I have a clever plan. Place these flowers in the pond from which the others drink. It will give them good fortune for the new year, and their bounty will be ever greater. In this way, we will return favor to those who have shown us such care. The wolf did as she was told, sneaking quietly to the pond. As the flowers sank to the bottom, she left unseen and unheard, and she was very pleased for what she had done. That night, the animals celebrated with the food and drink their hard work had provided. They danced and they sang, and the deer and the bird bid the wolf to join them. When the moon rose high in the sky, however, all the animals began to lay down and fall asleep. What's wrong, my friend? cried the wolf, as the bird ruffled her feathers and closed her eyes. The wolf howled, but this time the bird would not sing along. She would not even wake. You've done very well, little wolf, the fox barked with a cruel laugh, and now the feasting may begin. The wolf, with tail and ears tucked, was so afraid her feet refused to move. Uh, but the deer, with sleep in his eyes, bucked his antlers and told her to run. The last thing the wolf saw was the fox giving her a wicked smile. He swung his claws, and he snapped his jaws, and the forest never woke again. wolf knows it's not her fault. It was all that fox. Mm. Hope the fox gets punished one day. Zelfine will so, just kind of shrug and oh. say, that's, uh, that's as far as I know of the story. That's where it ends. Mm. But if you do happen to see any more foxes in your to Roka readings. Um, maybe just let Theo know, and he can send it to me in a note. Okay. I'll keep an eye out for the bad old fox. Yeah. So I have several questions. <laughs> Ian, uh, so, um, they moved around me to get up to this area. Is this area on the top floor, is that open to the sky, or is that like an enclosed That's space? That's an enclosed space. Okay, so they passed me. Um, would I have seen where they were going? You saw them go up the stairs and into uh, a room up on the top floor. Okay. I was outside the house at this point, not in the oh. main dining room. Yeah, it, at that point, mm, we probably didn't see them then. I was misunderstanding. If you were outside, you okay. probably heard them, and then like heard them go deeper into the uh, the house. Okay. The inn. Yep. Okay. So then Brinson, yeah, Brinson didn't wouldn't have taken any actions. Yeah, yeah. It, yeah if he was still that. outside, he wouldn't have. Mm. Okay. But yeah. So uh, as you finish that, Olive uh, yawns and starts to turn into a kind of a. Her hybrid form and curls up into the the, the the hay. So this is just this rather large bird child curled up in the hay, and she starts to snore. Yeah, Zelfine would just awkwardly pat her head and then head back down the ladder. Cool. 
Cool story, bro. <laughs> cool story, bro. <laughs> That's great. Mm hmm. So yeah, Olive is now asleep. You head down, and from Stone, where are you up to? You're still outside. Um, after a while, you'd probably uh, um, I think he'd do a, a walk around the house. Uh. He'd activate his sanguine scent and do a walk around the house. Um, uh, just sort of patrolling the perimeter. Yeah, you smell the horses. You smell the, uh, the people. The were ravens. You smell less people now as people start to trickle out and head home for the night. As you mm -hmm. pass by Riley on your way around the house. You've noticed that there's a raven there, and that it smells like a were raven and not a regular raven. <laughs> does it have any kind of like a, a a message or anything? Like, does it look like one of the messenger were ravens? Uh, it looks like it like can carry messages, but right now it's not. It's just kind of hanging out by the water, sipping on that. Okay. What are these two houses that I see in the map? These two small sheds. Uh, one is like a log shed, and one is like a supply shed. Okay. Uh, yeah, he'll just walk around those, and he'll pass by Riley, he won't say anything, and, um, he'll, uh, oh gosh, he'll, um, and I don't see Jitana anywhere around here? No. Uh, he'll go up the stairs to where the, our rooms normally are. When I get on the second floor, uh, do I smell anybody in any, either of these rooms yeah, at all, or anybody? you do. You smell someone in one of the rooms. Okay. Uh, you I guess I'll the open the door. estimate that it is, uh... Sorry, what? Were you knocking on the door? Or... Yeah, I'm gonna knock on the door. Okay. You hear... Gitana. I wouldn't see Zelfine as I... I wouldn't see Zelfine on the other landing as I get up to this landing, would I? Uh, you might. She might be just exiting as you get up there. Because they're kind of, like, across from each other. Mm hmm Okay. I'll, um... He'll kind of pause for a second as he looks at Zelfine and kind of give her a curious look, but then he'll go and knock on the door. Yeah, you, you hear Jitana answer that she's trying to sleep <laughs> <laughs> Brim, please <laughs> all right and he'll uh, then he'll leave her alone and uh, he'll go back down the uh, the stairs outside and finish patrolling the he'll just kind of keep doing laps around the house pacing at this point kind of absentmindedly <laughs> Cool. Yeah, as, as eventually you'll wander around, you might you'll see Theo has wandered out of the uh, the the stable and is kind of hanging out outside, staring at the mist. His tail kind of flipping, a little aggravated, and he's like tapping his finger on his crossed arms. Yeah, I'll I'll sidle up next to him. He'll raise an eyebrow and then kind of look back up at the sky. There's a festival tomorrow. So I heard. Last time I went to a festival, things went poorly. And I expect tomorrow will be much the same. I'm sorry to hear that. I can't remember the last time I was at any kind of a festival. I was in a land like 
called Karashiro. Oh, right. And every year, the dead come back to visit the living. Can you have any idea what it's like to look and see the ghosts of your dead friends? I, yes. I don't know why they thought that was a great idea for a festival. <sighs> yeah, this is a stupid idea for a festival. I mean, might not have been so bad if it wasn't for the the chaos and the the, the assassination attempt and the, the rest of it, you know. But <sighs> with any luck, this one will go a little smoother. Sounds like we have a vested interest in the festival, our little group. Yeah. Will you be there? <laughs> well, I know that we're on the Burgermaster's ship list, so... Well... He's gonna be looking for us come tomorrow when he learns that we're in town. With any luck, that won't be a problem come noon. Hmm. Either he'll be dead or we will. <laughs> I, I'm sorry that we were away for so long and weren't here to plan with you. All this stuff. Eh. It's alright. You, you all had other things you needed to take care of. I don't know. I'm used to it. You know, uh, fortune or no, I'm... It's very apparent that You and Lucas care about each other a lot. You know, I've only known him for like a month, but it feels like I've known him my entire life. It's weird. Some friendships are like that. Some relationships are like that. But... There's a right way and a wrong way to go about doing what we're doing, and while it's going to be risky regardless of what happens, you know, we can't... We can't hurl ourselves onto the bed of spikes just because it's there, you know? If we're going to do that, we got to do it so that someone can walk across. <laughs> that's, uh, that's one way of putting it, I suppose. Look. You strike me as someone like me who does things without thinking because it feels right. I don't know. A few years ago, I wouldn't be doing stuff like this. A few years ago, I was in a cell, robbing away. <laughs> I wouldn't be doing anything like this either. Yeah. It was two years ago now I was I was in jail. Political prisoner. In the wrong place at the wrong time, more like it. Working for a man that no longer was seen as the rightful baron of the town. <laughs> It's a lot more political than my car incarceration, but I get where you're coming from. Second time I've been to jail. 
first time because I was caught stealing. That's where I got these. He like pulls down his neck scarf and sees you see like big long scars on his neck. Guards like to torture people. Thinks it will scare him straight. I'd love to meet them one day. <laughs> They're a long way away now. How are your arms healing up? You okay. Doing better. The uh, the healing spells you Amond and Rictavio did seems to have healed them pretty well. They're going to scar though. I'm sorry about that. <sighs> it's my own damn fault. All of my scars are my own damn fault. I haven't found that to be true. For me, at least. This one, and he points to his uh, brand. The rest of it, the burns, <laughs> that was that was on me, yes. But this one, that was someone else's idea of a good joke. Hmm. A joke. He points to one that's like in his eyebrow and goes, "Drunk man, thought I was a devil." He's not too far off, I guess, but still. Not to keep playing pity party with you, with you, Theo. <laughs> but the oh. people who gave me, people who gave me that one were most definitely sober at the time, and they didn't think much better of me. Monster, it means. Hmm. Cursed thing, that sort of thing. Devil child. Infernal bloodline. Only good for watching the borders. Dying for king and country, all that good fucking nonsense. Mm -hmm. It's easy to get swallowed up in exacting vengeance on every shit who's spat at me for being. I mean, for God's sakes, look at me. For being this. Yeah, you're mm -hmm. certainly something, all right. Mm -hmm. Even back then, I was... I was the village champion back then. I was the big and strong, the big tough guy who would defend us from bears and moose other simple problems it's easy to get caught up in all that but now we have at least for a time we have something more important to focus on I find getting that everybody helps. getting everybody out of here having a goal really does help channel that kind of stuff like I said, I wasn't exactly a great person before I had a rebellion to lead, and here I am again, leading a rebellion. In terms of the scars in your arm, Theo. Hmm. <laughs> uh, the person who directed they be given to you uh, is going to be very disappointed in me soon. When I pay her back for that. Well, I'm looking forward to that. Her beautiful Nikolai is, uh... Gonna come crumbling down, I think. Not that she knows. Well, whatever you plan to do with her, just be careful. She's more dangerous than she lets on. And she let uh, lets on a lot there. She, she seems pretty dangerous. But... Mm -hmm. I got the vibe. <sighs> People like her make my skin crawl. She's the kind of person that would work for the Empire. You're talking about... You keep talking about this Empire. This was 
This is the rebellion you led against it? Yeah. The Dominion, we call them. They showed up on Zant shores with spears in hand and diplomatic sheets of paper in the other. Half of Zant fell to them without even lifting a finger. Yeah. They're paladins. Whole lot of them trampled through the ta uh, through towns. Taking magic users and stringing them up. Bunch of them got shipped off somewhere. We stopped some of that, but I don't know where they were taking them. Probably mass graves. Friend of mine. And your... She's tortured. Go ahead. If you don't follow their god, then they kill you. <laughs> if you're not here, they <laughs> ship you outside of the town and let you rot in the slums. Bunch of fuckers. How did, how did your rebellion go? Here's the thing, we're kind of in the middle of it. We have really only the one major success. And that we escaped jail and then took over Karashiro. Mm. That festival I was talking about, we assassinated the Shogun there. And we took over. We've got a whole section down there. We call it Free Zant. The rest of the continent, complete turmoil still. Mm. I don't know how it'll go from here. We could easily all be killed. We could easily all be sent off to jail again. <laughs> I don't know what'll happen. Frankly, I'm terrified. This is more responsibility than I've ever wanted. And now Thea's leading a revolution in the midst of a mist covered mist laden land ruled by a vampire lord. Oh, it's funny that way, huh? Funny, yeah. Whole life been kicked around by people, and I think I just got sick of it. Hmm. Oh. I hope whatever tomorrow brings, it brings us success. One way or another. You might very well just simply be declaring war on Strahd. Well, he can't be worse than the entire goddamn Castellan Empire. I don't know about that. You don't know the Empire. No, but I know the depths of cruelty that lie within mortal hearts. Runs pretty fucking deep, Theo. Well, there's that. You know what they'd say in Zant? You've got the heart of a lion. <laughs> a lion, huh? They're big things over there. Kind of like... The whole binding force of what used to be the king of Zant was... Lions. Noble. I don't know. I've never seen myself as noble or anything like that. <laughs> they wrote a whole stupid song about me, you know? I recall hearing it from Olive you know, a couple nights ago. You want to know the truth about the devil of Karashiro? I grabbed a girl, and we hid in a cave while a drake attacked. I just made sure she didn't get killed. And a whole damn song about me saving her from some big <laughs> dragon came out of it. She's not even a princess, but they said she was. Yeah. They embellished. Those tales get embellished a lot. I, uh, I don't know, I said earlier I don't know many bars personally, but I've, uh, I worked up a bit of a reputation earlier. They, uh, they tell stories of 
in the uh, northern parts of the south coast of uh, the demon from the mountains who comes and wreaks havoc, uh, whose motives are inexplicable, who uh, can break out of even the toughest bonds, is like this thing of smoke. And that sort of boogeyman style shit. <laughs> I might have knocked in a few too many heads when I first got out of jail. Sounds about right coming from you. <laughs> but me, sweet innocent Brimstone. <laughs> <laughs> Your name is literally Brimstone. Yeah. That, like, invokes hellfire. Uh, that was the intention, I think. One who picked it out, I think, wanted to uh, evince a sort of terror and whatnot from it. I don't have a name. No, I... My name was mostly picked because they couldn't pronounce my real one at the orphanage. <laughs> Uh, I wonder what would have happened if I had gotten sent to an orphanage. Well, with any luck, it would have been a better situation than I did. <laughs> a tiefling that grew up to be seven foot tall? Hardly. Hmm. If you had got sent to an orphanage where I was, if it was any other orphanage than the one I was at, I probably would have done okay. <laughs> Tieflings all over the place. In Valrook. Really? But. I've only met. Uh, before you and Riley, I don't think I met many tieflings. No, I mean, at all. It, it doesn't really there stop were... the, uh, the prejudice so much, even when the, our king was a. Uh, he's a tiefling. But. The gnomes have all the power, the gnomes have all the money. Well, aren't we a pair of sad sacks? Huh. <laughs> Honestly, I think we should probably get some rest. Mm -hmm. We've got a big day ahead of us. Yeah, you're probably right. I need to go. We need to go find. We do need to go find Irene and he's Not Isaac, he's Mark. Jesus Christ, I hope we don't find Isaac. Oh, God, no. Yeah. Although, I will say. At this point, thanks to some uh, new tricks by uh, a friend of ours, I am now excited to uh, cross blade with Isaac. Should it come to that, then we have the choice. Uh, let me get in the ring with him. Hmm. I think things might go well. Well, better you than me, buddy, but uh, I think it's late. Try to get <laughs> some sleep, and we'll reconvene in the morning. We'll, we'll fill mm -hmm. you all in. Okay. Theo, like, Whew. awkwardly sticks a hand on your shoulder and pats it, and then walks backwards into the... <laughs> into the stable. And <laughs> not quite sure how to end that. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> kind of like, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Brinson also, like, like blinks for a second. Yeah. And, like, uh. and I Are there any trees nearby? There is one kind of off to the side. Yeah, Brimstone's not going to go back inside. He's going to go and find a tree to rest under for the evening. Cool. I thought he was going to fucking climb it. Uh, unless <laughs> anybody has anything else to say, uh, I think that's where we're going to end it for now, because I have something coming up in a couple sure. hours. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Woo! Yay. That was so good. Hooray. Oh, tomorrow's going to, or the next time is going to be bad. <laughs> Sorry, that ends I'm up not being a... a lot of Theo backstory dump. <laughs> yeah, no, you're good. You're I was really loved you. It's good. I it's felt good. bad. I was worried. I didn't want it to be just Brimstone talks about sad shit for two hours. Yeah. I did not want that. <laughs> but you did. You did. But it was good. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Very nearly told Riley something. Very nearly told Riley something very interesting. What the fuck? What? <laughs> I'll tell you. I'll tell you. I'll tell you after the recording's over. I'll tell you. Okay. Bye. Bye, everybody. everybody. Good to, bye, everybody. Good to each other. Yeah. Bye. Stories tend to change when one of
one is shrouded in the mist. Hearts begin to realize why they are there to exist. Eyes are blind or open to the horrors all around. No story pushed by those can match the ones that will be found.